Hey, Kent Larson here. I uh, just want to do a little shout out to all my vector born illness friends and all their friends. Um, uh, complicated scenario, this stuff. Um, the reason why I'm making this video while I'm sitting here at Starbucks having my, my coffee is uh, a lot of you who are not in vector born illness uh, society daily because you're suffering from it, but you're on the outside. Seeing a friend that's suffering, uh, going through all the hell that comes with it, uh, thank you for your support. It means a lot. A lot of people abandon people once they become chronically ill, and they're no fun to be around, quite frankly. We're a drag if we're feeling like crap. So, <clears throat> a lot of you are involved in nutritional network marketing companies, direct sales, etc., of, of health products. And I know you want to help your friend that is suffering so much, but there are a lot of things that you don't understand. And I'll, so here's what I want you to do. I don't want you to be offended by what I'm about to say, but I got to go through it. I got to be very blunt with you and I'll try to explain it enough so you understand. All right. Once again, don't get offended. I just want to help you out while you try to help your friend. Uh, for one thing, it's an extremely economically devastating disease to ask one of your friends to spend uh, 75 to $200 a month for your supplement program that isn't specifically designed for what they're going through is quite a bit to ask. They simply sometimes are trying to figure out how to buy their groceries, gas, or just pay for their prescription drugs or their next doctor's appointment where that doctor is uh, specifically having them treated for what they're going through. Uh, that's the economic side. The other thing is, is there are a lot of things that complicate this disease that you don't understand. There's some uh, uh, physiological things. There's something called the MTHFR genetic mutation which causes their body to not process things properly and detox through the methylation process. You may think that you have the best pharmaceutical grade vitamin supplement in the world. That's an overall vitamin and it, you may have physician's desk references. You may have all this very viable stuff that says how great it is for a normal person. But you have to understand this person if they take that vitamin it may throw off their methylation process even more because you're supplementing with vitamins that actually drive it in the other direction, uh, making them worse. So multivitamins could probably be one of the worst things that your friend takes. The other thing too is you may have some pharmaceutical grade uh, protein supplements. Uh, you want them to put in their smoothie or whatever. You know. There are specific food allergies and other things that these people have to stay away from that you probably are not aware of. And those always need to be addressed. And the rice, eggs, whey, a lot of those things, no matter how micronized, how processed it is, how pure it's been made, it just doesn't matter. Uh, other things, the, the physician or the medical practitioner that they are seeing or the health practitioner they're seeing may have them on a very specific protocol right now that they need to be on and they cannot take what you're offering them so don't be offended and please don't invite them to go to some meeting where they can hear testimonials if you're not a medical professional and you're doing that that's wrong what that is is that's a bunch of people trying to convince them they should take it okay the biggest things that these people have to worry about is keeping their diet right making sure their body can process and push out toxins because vector-borne illness causes massive inflammation and toxic overload. And that's what their medical or health professionals are trying to help them out with, okay? Probably the best thing you can do is give them your moral support, give them a phone call, send them an email, take them out for coffee, or do something they enjoy to get them away from what they're suffering from. But please, please, please understand there are specific things that they need to supplement their body with that you probably cannot offer. And these things are offered through the offices that they get their advice from, okay? So do not be offended if your vector-borne illness friend can't take what you offer. And by the way, keep your passion. I hope your business does well and I hope you become uh, very successful. I myself made a lot of money with nutritional network marketing but I said I did. All right. God bless. This is Kent. You have a great day.